a week before the preseason, I need a roster. And what we're going to do is give you another sheet for three more players. In case anything happened to your players, you know, God forbid that nothing do happen, you know, go to jail and stuff like that. But uh, you got extra players you could pull from. The people in this room are organizing one of Los Angeles's recreational softball leagues. But this one is different. Its players come from neighborhoods associated with the city's Crips gangs. I would like to say that, you know, I respect all y'all, man, you know, continue to, this is our third year going in. Um, 12 neighborhoods coming together for this season, man. That says a lot, homie. A lot of people don't understand what we're really trying to do with our softball game. It ain't about softball. It's about all of us coming together and try to unite and be able to help us to reclaim our communities back together. You got bloods, um, you got crips, and everybody know that's red and blue. And there's a, a perception out there that the biggest wars is between the bloods and crips. But actually, there's internal wars that's going on on both sides. So this is the 18th side of my street, the rough side of the neighborhood right here. Um, a lot of shootings, a lot of dope selling. Back in the days, we, we gave it a name, Death Row. It's the difference between being a gang member and a gang banger. I'm gonna always be a gang member, and a gang member is someone that's not actively out in the gang and in the streets. That's a gang banger. There is a big difference. Once I signed on, I knew it would always be for life. I will always be a Raymond Crip. I am now headed to get started with my day of work, which consists of newspaper deliveries. You hardly working. The job that I am doing now is something that I didn't think I would ever be doing. I'm a person who has spent a lot of time in prison, and so employment for me is a very difficult thing. I wanted to play professional baseball. That was my goal. A few things got in the way. I am the assistant commissioner of the softball league, comprised of Crip neighborhoods which formerly did not get along. It gave me a chance to uh, make up for the negative stuff that I uh, helped create in the community. I've been able to witness over the last year how this organization has been able to step in and eradicate some um, conflict. Y'all winning today or what? Hell yeah. Right now, them young guys don't want to hear from us old dudes. When we speak to them, they misperceive it as us telling them what to do when we're all we're trying to do is give them the information so they don't have to make the mistakes that we did. But if we can get younger guys to buy into what we're doing, then we can get even younger guys to buy into what we're doing. I think, are you ready for this? Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> not, not before y'all do. Casanova's team, the famous Rays, for the Raymond Avenue Crips, is playing a squad called the Spody Gloves from the Roland 40s Crip neighborhood. This used to be so feared, you know what I mean? All these gang members in one spot. You know, it used to be a time where this was not heard of, or if there were two different gangs in one place, it was going to be a situation. Did I ever thought this could happen? No, not where I came from. But this is actually history, because it's never been done before. No team want to lose out here. Everybody want to have bragging rights, so every week is like a championship. Hey, I'm the winning run. I'm the winning run. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Line it up, line it up. The stakes are a lot higher than just pride. And while it feels like a different universe out on the field, the violence is real. In just the past few months, two of the league's neighborhood reps have been shot and killed. We can't, we 
continue to do what we're doing on these streets with violence and shootings and killings, and we may have differences about um, who's right, who's wrong, but when it comes down the field, we settle this on the field, and we also learn how to settle things on the streets. Y'all is crazy.